Right, apologies. This is just one total mess. Testing, testing. Good morning. It's 20 past six-ish. On Monday, the 19th of July, it's Freedom Day. Allegedly, Freedom Day. Um, so fingers crossed, gigging is actually gonna return. And I'm trying to ease myself back into the idea of making YouTube videos. Um, so I'm starting a vlog. I don't know what I'm going to vlog. I don't know what I'm doing this week. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I don't know what I'm going to show you. It might be rubbish. Uh, I'll give it a go. And I'm drinking coffee. I might take that mug. This is what I always do. Um, gigs. If they go ahead, I've got, um, Manix booked in September as my next gig, but there's some happening in August that I want to go to. I would like to see Gorillaz. I'm just trying to decide with myself whether to try and get a standing or a seated ticket. And the one gig I really, really do want to go to is Liam's at the O2. Um, for NHS staff, uh, which is just showing us no tickets available now, but because the new date has been announced, loads of people are saying um, they can't go now. Um, so there must be some way of redistributing those tickets. So uh, I, I want to find out. I don't know who to ask. Uh, I tweeted at the O2, but uh, they didn't reply. Um, so, so what? What do I do? What do I do? Anyway, I'm gonna have my coffee and watch YouTube and play Animal Crossing. This is my daily routine now. Uh, I'll talk to you when something interesting happens. Who knows? This might be it for the vlog. It's 10 past 9 a.m. and it is 29 degrees hovering between 28.9 and 29 degrees like that makes a difference inside my flat london what are you doing tuesday morning and i have scheduled tomorrow's post finished and scheduled it cooler shaker at wilton's music hall in 2016. i'm um I'm quite happy with how that post turned out. Sometimes when you look back at certain gigs, um, they feel like they have a resonance um, to today, uh, even though that was five years ago, more than five years ago now, which is kind of shocking. Um, but yeah, it it feels apt, especially as Cooler Shaker have just announced that, um, well, Crispian has announced that they've finished their new album and hopefully that means more Cooler Shaker gigs will be happening soon, I hope so. It's quarter past two on Tuesday afternoon and I actually have an unboxing to do, which is very exciting. This is the box uh, and I have no idea what's in it. Um, I got into a conversation with the O2 um, Twitter account around gigs. They were asking, what gigs are you going to? What gigs are you excited about, etc. And then they asked me to DM them and they said, what gigs uh, would you like tickets for at Brixton Academy that you haven't bought yet? And I listed a few and they said, okay, okay, uh, we've got something to send you. Um, what's your address? So I gave them my address and that was two, two and a half weeks ago or so. And now this parcel has arrived and I know it's from them because I've looked at the little slip and the contents of the box is listed as O2 Surprise. So let's open it and see what my O2 surprise is. Um, this is really exciting. <laughs> what, what, a, what a perfect week to start my vlogging because, uh, you know, I actually have something to look at, right. So it's just a uh, sort of brown paper. So I got a letter. <laughs> Hi, Susanna, which is my other name. We loved reading about all the music from your life and learning which songs and gigs have brought you joy over the years. That's quite a list of gigs you've been to, impressive stuff. 
That's quite cool. They actually read my blog. Being such an avid gig goer, we can tell you're more than ready to get back amongst it and experience the buzz of live music. So we've taken care of that for you. You and a guest are off to Bicep at O2 at Academy Brixton on Saturday, 11th of September on us. Drop us a DM on Twitter so we can grab some details. We've included some other gig ready supplies to help your night go with a bang. A power bank to power your phone through all those selfies, a collapsible cup for refreshments on the way and an umbrella because, well, this is the UK. We hope you like the goodies. Tweet us a photo with O2 Surprise so we know they've arrived and enjoy. This was just an interval welcome back. Oh my God, how cool. So there's my box. It's, it looks like this. So, oh wow, okay, so this is the collapsible cup, which is quite cool. Whoop. I have no idea how this works. Oh, here. What am I doing? Uh, do I have to, oh, uh, <laughs> do, do, can I actually take this into a venue? Would they not take it away from me? I mean, I suppose it is official. It's official. It's official O2 branding, so maybe, maybe that would work. Anyway, O2 cup. Um, this, this must be the power bank. This cube is made from cardboard. Okay, great. How do I, how do I get it open? hours later you know how youtubers have that little animation that says 20 years later okay oh it's sweets <laughs> it's like little gummy bears a little box of treats these are all vegan oh they they're so on on top of the zeitgeist here's my o2 umbrella if you are superstitious about umbrellas being opened indoors, then look away now. Oh, that's the O2. Hang on. That's the O2. Some call this a hygiene key. We call it a doodah. This will help reduce your exposure to germs. Oh, it's designed to touch common public spaces so you don't have to, so you don't have to keep it handy. So for, oh, so it sort of has a little, um, I'll take a close up of what this shows, but you can use it to push things, pull things, turn things, pin things, or putting in your pin number and stuff. How cool. That is, you know, I already had like germ phobia related OCD even before COVID. So like I've needed this all my life basically. Thank you O2. And um, this is the power bank. Which looks like this. So I presumably you charge this up and then you carry it with you and then you can charge your phone on the go. Um, I hope I can bring all these things into, like, the thing about this is, like, I suppose it's quite, actually, I'm just realizing it's quite soft here, because I was thinking they might look at this and say, that's a weapon. This is a, it's a cool little design though, isn't it? But like, I mean, this is the thing. They take away bottle tops at gigs but they're gonna let me in with this. Well, it's from O2, so they have to. And that is, that is my box. Here's some of my stuff. Thank you, O2, that is so exciting. I need to um, message them and say thank you. And uh, I need to take a photo and put it on Twitter as they have requested. Um, thank you, O2. It's just after four now on Tuesday I've logged off for the day I'm gonna go have a shower and lie down in front of the fan um but yeah I'm so excited about the bicep gig like how cool 
Uh, I feel like while I was doing the unboxing, I didn't get very excited about the thought of bicep tickets, but I really am excited. Their album is absolutely one of my favorites of this year, Isles, the album of this year, and I love the earlier tunes too. And um, I just contacted my friend who is going to come with me, and he's really excited too. So um, it's it's yay, uh, yay for bicep. I, I'm th trying to drum up as much sort of enthusiasm as I can when I actually feel like I'm not quite awake because it's a million degrees outside. Anyway, that's Tuesday. It's Wednesday morning. I'm gearing myself up to try and go out because I need to go to the post office. Uh, I need to send my dad's birthday card um, and I need to go shopping. Um, and I want to try and do it now rather than lunchtime. It's, 10, it's 11 minutes past 10 because it's going to get really, 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 really hot. But let me just show you a couple of things. Hang on. I hope my dad doesn't watch this because I'm showing you his birthday card. He's gonna be 90, which is amazing. And I'm not there obviously, because he's in Canada, but my family don't really do big things for birthdays anymore. But this is the other thing. Now the Liam Gallagher concert, free concert for NHS workers says, sign up for alerts for, alerts for this event using this form or via Facebook below. I have done both, I've done the form, I've done Facebook. So I hope that means they are going to as well as the picture of Liam looking like he's about to punch you in the face. Um, I really hope that means that they are going to release extra tickets because I really, 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 really want to go. Really want to go. Um, I still haven't bought a ticket to Gorillas because I've decided I want a standing ticket and there's no standing ticket available. So I'm just waiting to see what I can get on Twickets. Um, if I could see, imagine if my first two gigs back after, like my first two proper gigs, Griff was amazing, obviously, but if my first two proper normal, no restrictions gigs after lockdown are Gorillas with Damon Albarn and then Liam Gallagher, like the two leading lights of the 90s Britpop scene, that would be just, that would be fate, wouldn't it? It's fate. It has to happen. Let's see. Anyway to the post office and then back to work. I'm outside, look, outside exists. I'm back from the shops. It was super hot. It was my first time in shops since last June, I guess, without wearing a mask. Um, I've realized that if I carry on wearing a mask now, my mental health will just deteriorate into something that will take me years to to retrieve so i have to i have to be brave now even though i hate confrontation and i was really worried people would confront me for not wearing a mask but it was fine i would say about 60 percent were wearing masks 40 percent without it was so nice to see people's faces oh my god so nice i went to the post office post office staff were still completely masks gloves even but in Sainsbury's, um, some staff were not wearing masks. And again, some of the customers, majority I think were still wearing masks, which is fine, it's people's choice. You know, I think it's 100% choice. I just can't go on with masks. Uh, you know, certain sort of settings, I'm still not entirely sure about public transport, but hospitals, if I have to go, I do have to go for a scan at some point soon, and I'll wear a mask in a hospital because that makes sense. That's where COVID is gonna be, but, um, I can't carry on otherwise and I'm so happy it just feels so freeing and seeing other people without masks as well um, people are exercising their freedom of choice wear a mask don't wear a mask it is a choice now and that's how it should be anyway my reward for braving the sunshine look what I got in Sainsbury's it's the new mojo with Bowie and the Mannix what could be better for me that is just made it should have scruffy storms special on on the covers somewhere because it's made for me i can't wait to read that at the end of the day temperature update 5 to 4 p.m on wednesday 29.9 30 29.8 9.9 what the fuck morning it's friday morning it's uh it's quarter past seven 
I started work early. I'm hoping to take the afternoon off today. I've been starting work early all week uh, with the plan to finish early uh, because of the heat and never managing it. Um, I'm hoping I can take the afternoon off. I'll, I'll check. Uh, but yeah, exciting news today. So, um, gig tickets. Nick Cave and Warren Ellis have announced a tour. Uh, I'm going to try and get a ticket for that. And Gorillaz, I've been going on about the Gorillaz gig and they've added an NHS staff gig the day before. So I am definitely, definitely, definitely going to try for a ticket for that because um, that would be amazing uh, to be there. Um, uh, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a ticket frenzy day today. I've also got, um, hopefully, the new Poroshka album arriving. I bought, um, I bought it on vinyl, which I don't normally do, but I was influenced by seeing Mickey signing pictures of the exclusive print that comes with it, and it looks so cool. So I thought I had to get that. I do have a record player, one of those cheap suitcase type ones, but, um, I've lost the the plug cable thing, so let's see if I can find that. Otherwise, I'll end up just listening to it on Spotify. But um, that's my day. Would you believe it? I've got another unboxing. I'm a bit out of breath because I've just been downstairs to collect it, but I know what it is this time. It's my Parashka album. Oh, update. I got my uh, Nick Cave and Warren Ellis ticket. 93 pounds for the back of the of the arena i could have gone stalls for 100 pounds maybe i should have done i don't know but um oh my god still got to get uh gorillas but there it is <laughs> Hiroshka, love drips and gathers it's quite exciting buying vinyl should I open it up? Should I open it? Well, let's look at the print. Oh, that's not the print. <laughs> that's my um, receipt. So the print must be inside the thing. Is it? Aha, there's the print. Oh, Stay upright, you goddamn thing. Here's the print. Signed by all of Poroshka. There's, there's Mickey with a heart. There is Moose. Uh, Mick and Just. Mick and Just, looks like. I don't actually know the rest of the band's name apart from Mickey and Moose. But that is lovely. I need to frame that. What size is that? Is that A4? Find a frame for that. And let's get the album out of the thing. I need to find, I haven't listened to the album yet on Spotify. I just, I need to sort out my phone <laughs> arrangement. It keeps, it keeps drifting. Um, I haven't listened to it on Spotify yet, but that's what it looks like. And it's drifting again. I'll have to do, look, before I slide into oblivion, there's the back of the album. There's the front of the album. What's it like inside? All the lyrics. Yes. Woo. I love an album with lyrics. CDs don't come with lyrics very often anymore. And, oh, it's clear. I'd forgotten that. Wow. Look at that. What a thing of beauty. Okay, just on Aesthetics alone, I'm sold at um, switching to vinyl. Uh, but um, I need to find the, um, the plug, the plug connecty socket thing for my, um, for my cheap crappy record player so I can actually play this. But yeah, very exciting indeed. Look, it's cooled down to 27.4 degrees. Oh my God, it's freezing. Update again, I got my Gorillaz ticket. 10th of August, gigging now resumes on the 10th of August. I just need to get my Liam ticket.
fingers crossed they're going to release tickets for him and then now i've got bicep on uh the 11th of september gigging is coming back so soon but i'm so so thrilled i'm going to be at the gorilla show the first show from the o2 after lockdown etc um it's lunchtime well i've just i've had lunch i'm just too hungry to wait to have lunch uh the olympics opening ceremony is on uh so i'm gonna have a look at that and i'm gonna finish work early uh i'm gonna just tidy up a few bits and pieces do send a few emails and stuff and then i think i'm gonna log off for the day because i have a bit of time owing to me and uh work on the blog oh blog updates uh cooler shaker posted on wednesday and the anchorest this morning neither of them are getting massive views um i didn't tag the anchorest into that post because it's a little bit sort of damning with faint praise. Just when the emails arrived. Damning with faint praise in a way. Well, I mean, I said like, yeah, it was a great gig, but I was upset Paul Draper wasn't there. I <laughs> see, as she kind of doesn't really like Paul Draper anymore. I didn't think that would be a kind thing to tag her into. Um, so yeah, and Saint Chen is Saint Chen at Bognor Regis, which is my next gig to post about. That's nearly ready. Uh, to post for Sunday, and I've typed up Suede at Bogda Regis at Rockaway Beach. So I'm just looking over at the Olympics opening ceremony. Um, so yeah, so I think this afternoon I'll try and type up a few more gigs while I watch the Olympics opening ceremony. And uh, that'll, be, that'll be me. <laughs> Sunday morning view, typing up my Super Furry Animals gig from 2016. I'm just having a very relaxed weekend, mostly been working on the blog and cleaning and stuff. Uh, I was supposed to meet some friends yesterday, but it was forecast to rain all day and I was so knackered from the week of heat that I was just like, please can we postpone? So, um, so yeah. I'm feeling a lot better now. Still not sleeping well. Uh, I managed to sleep until quarter past six this morning. So that was good because I've been waking up at four. The week just gone. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm not sure if um, I'll have much else to chat about today. And I think I've recorded quite a lot of stuff already this week. So um We'll leave it at that. That's me easing myself back into the YouTube malarkey. Um, oh yeah, I did listen to the Poroshka album yesterday and it was amazing listening to... I just forgot, because I've never really been a big vinyl listener, just that whole kind of ritual of getting your record player out and getting the record on and getting this needle and it's sort of like alchemy isn't it it's it's so different when you're used to just like pushing a button on something so i'm definitely converted to vinyl and i'm thinking for like when i start doing regular videos like apart from vlogs for my channel i think one one video i'm gonna do is like cds versus vinyl because i've always been a cd fan always always love cd the most as formats go but um i'm i'm converted i think i'm converted yeah uh especially because cds these days they put no effort into the packaging compared to vinyl um so yeah i think i'll do a separate video talking about that um but that's been my week. Two unboxings, two gig tickets procured. It's been a good week in the old Scruffy Storm's life. Um, let's see what next week will hold. I will talk to you soon. Bye.